She literally looks 30. Well, well let, let's see what they say. I've hey, seen... guys. Thanks for tuning in. We've got a very fun one today. Ooh. So first of all, have you guys heard of this new game, Stellar Blade, coming out on April 26th? There's like the little seven seconds I've seen it. they posted at PlayStation over on Twitter. I don't. Really I didn't realize it was coming out so soon. About this game myself, I just saw it in the news recently, but there's a little bit more info on it. Uh -oh. Now, personally, I don't even have a PlayStation. I also don't have an Xbox. I'm mostly a PC gamer exclusively. I do have a Switch, but Ooh. like I said, I, I mostly just PC game. So I don't know too much about this game. But it's interesting because apparently some of the anti-gaming crowd is upset at this game for having some like fan servicey women in the game and they're offended by that. Well, let's something. see it. It's quite odd. Oh, there was also a little situation where there were apparently I saw about two this. women at the company who were causing issues at the company and then they were fired. And they later went on to claim that they were fired for being feminist. And yeah, that's got some people... I, I immediately don't believe that. Somebody says, oh, I got fired for my viewpoints. No, you probably got fired for trying to insert your viewpoint into a company that doesn't want it there. Set at the game as well. Yeah, so, no, yeah, I just anybody hand, says that, I just immediately the think they're lying. Reasons. And on the other hand, you have other people upset with the game for reasons like this guy. I was tagged to this situation by... Um, could have said the same thing about Nier Automa, but they're very good games... True, like I said, graphically, the combat-wise looks great, but I can't get past their faces looking like little girls. Either way, we'll see how they turn out whenever they're released. I feel like people like this really do a disservice to the actual bad actors that are trying to use, like, lolly content and stuff like that to, like, kind of, like, spread that type of, like, uh, like media. Because, like, you muddy the waters a lot by saying that like, remember that one, there was that one Korean girl, because I, I, I look at the picture, right? And it's like, if I look at this picture, let me see if I can find that girl on Twitter, on, sorry, on on, uh, on Twitch again. She's probably fucking live. Oh, no, she's not. Let me see if I can find it. This one right here. I feel like... Guys, I'm going to be real. I think this is pretty close. Like, what are we talking about here? It's just such a crazy thing to say. We got this dude, Kareem. But, like, is like people like this, they, they muddy the waters between legitimate bad actors that are trying to use, like, sexualization of questionably aged characters. And, like, they bring in this bullshit... This is like, it's clearly, they clearly don't look like kids. Like, what are you, t what, what, what? What are you talking about? An actor or something. I don't know. You look him up, it says like actor and like director. <laughs> but anyways, so what's going on here? Let, let's take a look from the top. Uh-huh. So, Kareem had said, the graphics of Stellar Blade and gameplay looks great. Albeit, I can't get past the over-sexualization of Stellar Blade. It would have been passable if their female characters didn't have the faces of a dang child. Really freaking weird. And if you find this arousing, you need to get all your hard drives and phones checked by the FBI. And then in a follow- Jesus, man. Little tweet, he said this. I find stuff like this funny. I can bet a good amount of cash that Avowed will have an incredible cast of characters and story. Stellar Blade just has a stellar behind. That's about it. He gets But didn't he just say, if you don't like it, or if you do like it, you should have your hard drive checked? I mean, guys, I, 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 oh man. And do you know what's funny? Is that I actually agree with him on his analysis of the game. I think the game looks like garbage. I don't think it looks good at all. I'll play the game probably, but I, I don't think it looks that great. It doesn't look like a great, like I'm looking at the gameplay. Like I, whenever I watch the, 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 
the gameplay sequences of the trailer, I was not impressed. That's all I have to say. I was not impressed. He gets a response from Flavio. That looks good. Says, I don't think it does. This is not the way to judge games, my brother. I think that the majority of the combat that they showed are quick time events. This is going to be Spam X. I look forward to being wrong. I hope that I'm wrong, but I don't think that I will be. Could have said the same thing about Near Automata or other, but they're very good games. Mm -hmm. To which Cream then responds and says, True. Like I said, graphically and combat-wise, it looks great. But I can't get past their faces looking like little girls. It's weird. Either way, we will see how they turn out when they are released. And that once again takes me to the tag I got, which says uh, another dude thinks an Asian adult woman looks like a child. You know, it's strange that this is not the first time this has happened. It's, it's strange that this happens on occasion, time and time again. Like, I don't know what these people are trying to say, but uh, I don't think it's the take that they want it to be. People pointed out how weird Cream is being over this, and his response was like, It's a dang CG character. It's a dang CG character? What, is, what does CG mean? Computer generated? Is this... So then why would it be a problem if it's just a, a CG character? Kareem defended Starfield? Oh, no. <sighs> no, bro. It all makes sense now. Wait. Yeah, is he a console war Andy? Because this game's coming out on PlayStation? Wait, does this actually not have anything to do with it? It's just another console war Andy? No, I'm gonna pull this guy's- I'm gonna pull it up right now. Oh, it's his- oh, no! Oh, no! Xbox, PlayStation fans now begging me to join them, while PS5 is struggling to get games to get- to Bro, you are 37 years old! The 36, he could be 36, 36, 37. He, if he was born in 87, he's three years older than me. That means he's 36 or 37. You are too old for this, man. You need to stop. If you are older than five, you need to stop. This is crazy. This has nothing to do with the game. It has nothing to do with the way the characters look. It has nothing to do with Stellar Blade at all. And if Stellar Blade was coming out on an Xbox, he'd be posting about how great it is. That's what my opinion is. It is reverse engineer logic by actual unironic console fanboys. And you can see it right here. Every post is about consoles. Xbox going third party. This is why Kojima doesn't have to touch Metal Gear anymore. And this is another one, right? I mean, he's like posting like drama about Metal Gear Solid. This is nuts. Uh, exclusively skipped for X. Every post that he's making, uh, maybe not this one here. Uh, I can't with you guys anymore. It's wrong on so many levels. It's just nuts. And now he's getting mad that, like, somebody is comparing the voice actor, or I guess the person from Stellar Blade, with the person from Fable. Uh, I don't think they had Dylan Mulvaney do Fable. I, I don't even know what this is. But at the same time, like, he's just getting mad about this. But it's all about finding Xbox might be becoming third party might really be true. Telling them Xbox third party thing might be actually happening. He's sad. Every post, he's dedicated his entire online presence to simping for Xbox. Guys, I want to have you know that he doesn't really believe any of this. This is all just simply a vehicle for him to spread hate on PlayStation. He doesn't care about the anime girls. He doesn't care about how they look. He doesn't care, oh, they look like kids. He's just saying that because it's coming out on PlayStation. That's it. Durr. To which people then pointed out that she's based off a real-life model. They did, like, a whole scan of her and everything. And looked Why would... The... No, see, this doesn't matter. Because, you see, this is a game that's coming out on PlayStation. So it's bad. So you're not thinking about it the right way. See, it's on PlayStation, so it's a bad game. This, and I, I guess her name is Shin Jae-yoon. Hopefully I pronounced that right. She's uh -huh. a Korean model. 
And as you can see, here's some of the pictures from her Instagram. She's got like over 500k followers on there, and you can find her at Instagram, love underscore Zenny RT. Right. This response, getting over 2,100 likes versus Cream's 15 likes, says, that's projection, dude. You're telling on yourself. Uh -huh. And underlining where Cream had said, their faces looking like little girls. Cream then responded. Isn't Xbox just a secondhand PC? No, a secondhand PC is a PlayStation 5. Xbox is a thirdhand PC. Getting six likes on his response, which reads, That sounds like something someone who was hiding something <laughs> would say. Yeah, buddy, projection. If it makes you feel better, I'm not the only one who thinks that, too. And you know dang well, that is what they are going for. Stop playing yourself, even with the voices. However, there are some Asian games that have a great job showing sexy bodies with mature faces. Other it's all about it being on PlayStation. It's got nothing to do with this. He doesn't care about this at all. If this was on Xbox, he'd be saying how good it is. It's it's all about... <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the games... That, yeah, what are the examples? I don't know. <laughs> Let me look at the Xbox catalog real quick. People began to respond to Kareem saying, You see little girls everywhere. That's a you issue. And quoting him and saying, Sadly, you are the only one who thinks that way. Either you're projecting or you're a racist. And PDF file is outing himself. Lug posted this picture of Shin Jae Yoon and uh -huh. said, Bruh, that's what the woman they hired to model for the character looks like. That's what Korean women look like. This is normal. To which Cream then also responded here <laughs> saying, Yeah, she is beautiful. And it's sad they had to enhance her and make it look nothing like her. Not only that they de-aged her character too much. This is the... Pr Remember what I said before about how Western... Western, like, uh... I don't know. I mean... Is this guy, like, is he from America? Like, who is this guy? I was, I was gonna say Western, but, like, I don't know if he's even from the West or not. Like, let me, let me actually just look and see. Uh, I, I don't even know. I have no, I have no fucking clue. Well, anyway, this is the problem that some people have. Why would somebody want to be themselves if they could be a better version of themselves that looks even cooler? Because that's the mindset that a lot of people have. And in fact, let's go even farther. In South Korea, it's so corrosive that a lot of girls feel like they need to get plastic surgery. It's super bad over there. So you're, you're making a critique on their culture, which is very fair. This, it is very superficial. There, it is probably from Argentina. Yeah, I guess nice Egyptian. Yeah, maybe not. But I think this is the same thing. It's like, why is it important for you that they have to make her look like she does in real life why does this matter because i guarantee you like the his his profile picture here is he is he is the world in black and white no it's not you posted this because you think it makes you look good like why it's just that this is it's just so crazy to me that people can live in such an absolute fucking completely hypocritical state it's the pose, though. The pose, though. Exactly. Yeah, you're always going to try to make yourself look better. It's nuts. Because how you look is acknowledged is an important thing. Yeah, you uh, attach a photo of yourself to job applications. That's why parents give plastic surgery as a gift. Yeah, that's just how it is over there. And, and also, again, keep in mind, none of this really matters to him. He doesn't really care about any of this. The real problem is that it's a PlayStation game. This is just simply the way he's criticizing a PlayStation game. That's all. To where it looks like a kid with a mature body. This woman clearly no, it looks doesn't. older, and they should have stayed true and respected her look. This guy's this guy's crazy. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with this guy? Lugden says. Nah, character looks awesome. Literally zero things wrong with designing a character this way. Mm -hmm. Your inability to tell the difference between children and adults while body shaming is concerning. You need to get out more and realize the far west isn't the center of the universe. Uh -huh. Cream says, body shaming? You are clearly throwing random words with no backing at this point. How about this? Let's see how this game sells. And if it sells more than Pal World, then I was wrong. It's <laughs> not going to sell more than Pal World. It's not going to... I don't... Like... From everything I've seen from Stellar Blade, I think this game will be a strong six. It will be another strong six game. I will probably play it on release, and I hope that I'm wrong.
maybe it will be a seven. I think it will maybe be a seven. I don't think there's any way it hits a nine. What kind of comparison is that, man? This guy's crazy. <laughs> Look, Lugden says, enhanced de age. Kareem just shouted you out. You are clearly oh, throwing random man. words with no backing at this point, like <laughs> flipping it on him and saying, the complete denial what of reality say? and insistence that foreign women somehow look like children to you is something people will rightfully clown on and then also tagging myself and Rev there. So thanks again for that tag and shout mm -hmm. out to Rev. Later on, Cream made this tweet saying, another shocking example. <laughs> shocking bro, example. Bro, he's actually watching the stream. Kareem, bro, like, Kareem, you have to, it's so awesome. You need to stop, man. You remember whenever we were kids and, you know, it was like you either had, like, the Super Nintendo or you had the fucking the PlayStation, or I guess PlayStation wasn't until Nintendo 64, or you had Sega Genesis. Like, this needs to stop, man. Like, this, it's time for you to stop. Please. Please stop. Console and is his job. Yes, I, I, I am a big... I love Xbox. I, I had the Xbox One. I had the 360. I played all the Halo original trilogies. I've got like five posters down there. Gears of War, when the new one comes out, I'm going to play it. I think Xbox is the best publisher right now. They are the most ethical, more so than Sony, because they put their platforms on PC or their titles on PC as well. I think Xbox is the best. But d dedicating your entire... Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Xbox is... It's not that great. Starfield kind of sucks, man. It doesn't even have a map in the cities. What are you doing making it your profile picture? What are you, what are you doing? You're, that's your background profile? Like, what's going on? Oh, no. He's a way better hill to die on. I don't even think he believes any of this. Okay, bro. Another shocking example of how the Stellar Blade's male character is scanned, looking like his real-life counterpart. Uh -huh. But the poor female was enhanced and looks nothing like the real person she was scanned after. I feel bad for her. This is not right. I guarantee you the actual guy doesn't look this good. Bro, I guarantee fucking to you. Wait, look at, look at the jawline on this dude. Absolute fucking Giga Chad. Now, I bet he's probably a good-looking dude, but he probably doesn't look exactly like that. And also, like, there's more of an emphasis put on women's appearance than men's. That's the way it is. Because guys like looking at hot chicks. And guys also like looking at, you know, big badass dudes, which this guy is definitely a big badass dude. We're acting like this guy doesn't, like... What do you mean? I feel bad for her just because, like, you're talking Obviously about looks her. Like, yeah, he's a good-looking guy. Man. He's this in shape. Woman. Yeah, what is this? Has to have this creep talking about her. It's very unfortunate. So get this. Ian Miles Chong actually responded to... I agree with Ian. I do. I think it looks bad. I think the game doesn't look that good. I, I, I feel like... The, I, I thought the combat sequences looked bad. Just, just based off of that. Just, just off of that. I'll take <laughs> to Kareem saying, nah. "Game we'll looks see. like trash." Not gonna lie. And then Kareem is like, "See, this is why I respect you. You call it how it is." This is especially hilarious <sighs> because Ian is notorious on Twitter for making terrible takes. Like, this is a man who went viral months ago because he was complaining that players Grand in Theft Cyberpunk Auto. 2077 have the ability to attack police officers. Oh, I thought you was, see him coming out of nowhere, like, agreeing with Kareem, and then Kareem's, like, agreeing with him. Yeah. And it just adds another layer of comedy to this entire situation. Going back to Kareem's initial tweet, where he talked about how he sees grown women looking like little girls, Papa Ubu said, I love how you were the <laughs> only Papa one... Papa Ubu. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Okay. Yeah thinking they look like little girls giving off kind of pdf file vibes here. right cream then said this not the only one i'm realizing a lot of anime fans are attacking me for this which is weird because this is about how they well, scan something. yeah it is it is of course anime fans are attacking you because you're saying that the way that they depict their female characters implies that they're pedos man 
of course people would be upset about being called that. Like, if if people were calling you that, you'd be upset too. I mean, it's just nuts. Duh, people would be defensive. That's crazy. Someone ...and completely changed her. It's the same as scanning someone and making them ugly to fit an agenda. Oh, they really? Well, where's your tweet about Fable then? I want to see it. Huh? Made her too young, and you're weird. Ultraman then responded. <laughs> yeah, Ultraman. The very Ultraman here. The Ultraman himself said, <laughs> changed her. They only gave her eye makeup, different haircut, and different eye color. They changed what? And again, if you want to take a look at that comparison picture, we'll leave it up on screen for a few seconds longer. And there we go. Papa Uwu also responding uh, to Cream again, saying, Cream. Please read into body shapes and types across countries. This is honestly ignorant and embarrassing. She does not look too young and definitely not like a child. That's a grown woman. Vanner is saying, over 60k followers, not a single like. Even your followers disagree with you. And Pink Pants saying, literally zero likes. <laughs> I mean, the likes on a tweet isn't necessarily that they're right. There's a lot of likes on really stupid tweets, right? Uh, but... It's just like, I don't get where these people are coming from. Like, there's just, like, to me, how many of you guys, whenever you see that there's, like, lolly shit, you immediately are like, there it is. And you can immediately tell, there it is. It's right there. I see it. It's easy, right? It's obvious. Like, there's never, like, a fucking, like, the only people that are debating in the middle are the people that are, like, they have, like, an agenda, or they're trying to, like, defend something. Yeah, officer, there is. It's right there, officer. How do you know it's like that? Because you look at it, and there it is. It's obvious as fuck, yes. They think anime fan equals liberal blue-haired furry. Well, that's not true. Some of them have pink hair, too. Literally zero likes. No one agrees with you on this. Even uh -huh. if you somehow find someone, you're still in the nasty, mega, hyper minority. Essentially non-existent. <laughs> we'll end with this exchange where Volps had said to <laughs> Why do you hate Asian women? <laughs> oh, God. Here we go. Why do you hate Asian women? And Kareem then goes off saying... That, that is a pretty big allegation, loser. I don't hate Asian women at all. Criticizing your computer-generated character for not looking like the real Asian woman. Asian. Why would you want the character to look like the real person? Why is that? Why, why does that matter? Like, I, I don't understand. Like, wh why? Like, I don't want it to look like the real person, like, one-to-one, -one, unless they're using, like, a famous actor or something like that. Like, you know, they had the Keanu Reeves and uh, fucking cyberpunk and stuff. Like, why is it, like, even if you say it does look like her, even if you, even if it doesn't, like, I, I don't understand. Well, why is this a problem? Of course they want to make the characters really, really hot. D Duh. Of, of course. Why is this like? <laughs> you hate Asian women and favor CGI over the real thing. I yes. have dated many beautiful Asian women in my past. Something never you may experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love this. He just keeps going. What is this dude saying, man? This dude's like so mad. He's not even not even talking straight anymore. Something never you may never experience in your life. Maybe if you knew how to separate real woman from a CG fantasy, oh you'd God. get a chance. Some real beautiful Asian women, but sadly doesn't look like it. So go enjoy your pillow. That part is kind of funny. It, it is the go enjoy your pillow part is funny, but <laughs> it is. <laughs> this is just starting to be funny to me. Stereotypical AX box bro, yeah. So he's we're actually yeah. trying to brag about the money he's made through Twitter Blue throughout all of these interactions, which amounts to probably like dozens. He's made dozens of dollars off of this.
maybe even like fifty dollars like 10 cents so great job anyways i just thought all of that was pretty funny was yeah using for me to take a look at all that stuff and i hope you got amusement out of this too if you did consider Bro, he's still her. using those losers oh wow this this thing sucks Look at this. He's a fuddler. He's using a four. He's using a chip. Oh my god, guys. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. I appreciate your support. And consider Jeez. letting me know what you think about all of this in the comments because that Face is, is better the than end yours. of the segment. And as always, it is. thank you for tuning in. It is in. better. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the. Um... Uh, th this is the character that everybody was getting mad about. I mean, it's just people love to get mad and cry about this kind of stuff for for just like no fucking reason. It's like people are inventing things to be upset about. People are inventing things to be mad about or to cry about. Uh, look up Stellar Blade gameplay. I've seen it. I don't I don't really think the game looks that good. I'm sorry. I, I I don't think that the combat sequences look that good, and I, I I just don't. I don't like. I'm not. I'm not impressed. Now I will try this game out because it's it's an action combat game. I I like playing these games, so I'll try the game out. I've got a PlayStation Five right there next to me. I play it, but my expectations going into it are, are quite low. Like, that's it. Like, I, I, I have very low expectations. I think that a lot of the cool sequences they showed are probably quick time events. And that's it. If it was on Xbox, it would be doing better. Yeah, and again, like, this guy that's criticizing it, I think that it's all about it being on Xbox, all about it being on PlayStation, and it has nothing to do with any of the graphics or anything else like that. Literal console war, Andy. 36, 37 years old, still living in 1997. Hey, I, I wish I was there too, buddy. Okay, but we're not anymore. Just buy a PC, join the master race, and become a real man. Okay, stop thinking about Xbox and PlayStation. Just buy a PC. That's the real Xbox. Uh, never apologize for lacking, liking att attractive female characters in our video games. Yeah, it's like, of course people like that. Like, what do you mean? People are upset that our characters' representation of women who actually exist. Why am I not surprised by our own culture's expectations in the West now? Well, I mean, again, I... I mean, I don't even know what to say about something like this. It's just, it's just such a stupid thing to say. He's farming Twitter impressions to afford a PC? I, I mean, I, I hope it works, man. Uh, he deserves it. He real and, and I mean, I, he really deserves a new PC. He deserves a new PC. He, he deserves to be above this. It, it, it's like, you know, you want to... It's like a person that's lived their whole life in the dark. You want to show them the light. Oh, my God. Imagine looking at a computer and seeing a woman. Yeah, I couldn't imagine anything that bad. 